Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to Face Friday here on my channel where I review makeup. So for today's review, it's more of a first impressions. I'm going to um, review the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. I've had this for a couple of months. I got it for free through Ipsy. So um, I'll link the video that I talk about that down below because I did get this for free and it's normally $27. Um, but it looks like this. I think it's like a perfect palette for fall, which is pretty much why I haven't used it yet, just because I usually use darker colors like this, like in fall and winter. Honestly, mostly like October is when dark colors like this are my jam. But I'm going to be using it today. It's going to be my first fall makeup look of the year. I'm super, super excited. So um, I'm going to review that. And then I'm also going to use these matte and metal melted shadows from Huda Beauty for this look. I have been using these for a while now and I absolutely love them. So I'm also going to give you a quick review of these. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and just get ready with you guys. I have that Tarte Sting Zing on my lips so I'm going to wipe that off because it's starting to burn and normally I love that stuff. Um, I actually did a whole review on it. I'll link it down below. Um, but when I'm talking and filming and stuff, it's hard to do because it just, it burns your lips, but it does a good job plumping them. Look at that. My lips look, that's pretty much the only way they ever look plump is when I use a lip plumper. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to start off with the palette. Um, and I think I'm going to start off with this color right here. Do these have names? It does not look like these have names, but I'm starting off with this kind of taupey color in the middle. And I'm going to put that in my crease. That is a really, really gorgeous color. I would use this color literally all the time just for like a nice, light, natural eye look. This is like just a perfect like everyday go-to color even to just like just rub it all over the lid and go on days you want to do a quick makeup look. This color is perfect for that. It's just like a really nice cool tone taupe. So now I'm going to take this like pinky color right here. Again these don't look like they have names. I'm just going to tap a little bit of that on the brush and go over the area and that I did the taupe. And just start to give it a little bit more definition and color. And then we have three dark purple colors and Two of them are very similar. Actually, they look really different in camera, but in person they look a lot more similar. But this one and this one, this is more of a plum and this one is slightly more burgundy. In camera it looks a lot burgundy. And then this one right here is like a true burgundy. And this one's like, it's almost a mix of plum and burgundy. It's almost a mix of these two colors. I think for today I'm going to go with this true burgundy though and I'm going to first kind of brush it on the outer corner and then I'm going to start sweeping it up into my crease but I really want it dark in this outer corner right here and then I want it to blend in with everything else. And I'm going to be doing a cut crease today, so that's why I'm not really putting anything right here. And then I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush. And I'm just going to kind of blend the outer edge out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in 
So I have these matte metal, yeah, matte metal melted shadows um, in two different colors. One is the faux fur slash bamboo hoops. And the other is the pink champagne slash bubble bath. And I'm actually going to go in with the pink champagne since this look is more of like a pinky purpley look. Um, so I'm going to, I said pink champagne, but I'm going to go in with the bubble bath side though, which is the matte side. Now these are not meant to do a cut crease, but I'm going to use it as a cut crease. It's not the greatest. I actually, I think concealer works a little better. Um, but it has a doe foot applicator and I'm just going to do a cut crease with it. And then if I need to fix it up, then I'll use a little flat concealer brush to fix it up. So. I'm gonna definitely need the concealer brush because I feel like you just don't get enough control with the doe foot on here. Especially with it being a matte and it's very opaque, which is something that I like about it. It's very opaque. But that leaves more room for mistakes. I'm gonna do that and I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the glitter on this eye first while this is still wet so next I'm gonna take this glitter right here it's the lightest of the three glitters and I'm going to use my finger and pack that on on top of that color and it's work it works just like a concealer would but since it also is like has a color of its own it's kind of pink it um the pink shines through a little bit which is nice actually for this color because this color um kind of matches what is this again um bubble bath it kind of matches bubble bath perfectly So then I'm going to take this shimmer right here, which is a darker pink, and I'm going to do that on the outer edge of the cut crease and kind of start to blend it into the burgundy that I have on the outer edge of my lid. And I'm just, again, using my finger for that. I'm going to really try to pack it on. But this glitter doesn't seem super buildable. There we go. Just kidding. I take that back. It just takes a couple tries. And, uh, you need to have more patience than I typically have. Okay. So. That's what it's looking like. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. It doesn't look very cut creasy. Because all the colors are like so much in the same color realm, I feel like. But maybe I can um, fix it up a bit and make it look more like a true cut crease. So now what I'm going to do is take um, that burgundy again. So I feel like when I did the glitter, it kind of took away some of that pigment. And I'm just going to put that into the outer edge. This looks more like an ombre than a cut crease currently. I think part of it is because I didn't bring the darker colors up more. That's a problem I have a lot because I'm always afraid to take shadows too close to my eyebrows. 
So then I'm going to take a little concealer brush again with the dark burgundy and kind of go just above where the cut crease is to define it a bit. And then blend it out a bit. And then I'm going back in with this, the Melted Shadows. And I've never done this before, but I've seen this trend on Instagram. I see a lot of like Instagram makeup artists doing this. But I'm going to take this which this is my favorite part of these matte melted shadows. Now this glitter is amazing. It's not as good as the Stila glitters. And the reason I say that is because it's this glitter, like when it dries down, it kind of cracks a little bit and the Stila ones don't do that as much. Um, so that's really the only bad thing I have to say about this glitter. But I love that it's a little brush instead of a doe foot applicator. I feel like the brush just makes it a lot easier to apply um, than the Stila ones because the Stila ones are a doe foot applicator, but the formula in the Stila ones is better. These are $25. I don't necessarily think it's worth $25. Like that's a lot of money, um, especially when like this palette is $27. I feel like the palette is, you know, a decent price for a palette. These are so overpriced, but they are really good. So. Anyways, I'm going to just line the cut crease. Just like that, kind of do like a half cut crease and line it. So that's kind of what it looks like. It's not the greatest. It's not super even. But like I said, I've never done it before and it's kind of fun. I feel like I need like a little highlight on my inner corner though. But I'm going to do that last because um, I don't have any highlighter on my face. I'm going to actually do my under eye now. So for my under eye, I'm going to start off with this pink color on a little brush and do that and then I'm going to do the burgundy the outer edge and take it up and then I'm just going to go ahead and take a clean brush again and just kind of blend the outer edge out and also blend my under eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and do eyeliner, a mascara, I'm going to put on some Paul's lashes and highlight. Um, so I think I'm just going to put on some music and zoom through that entire process, but, um, I'll tell you what products I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Chartiest Double Take Eyeliner for my liquid liner, and I'm going to put a little charcoal liner just kind of on my upper lash line. Um, and then I'm going to be using just some Ardell Natural Wispies with some Tarte Tartiest Lash Glue. This is the best lash glue. And then... Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use this Naked Cosmetics and it's their Mika Pigment in Sierra Nevada. And, uh, oh, and I also need to do lips. So I think I'm gonna use the Versailles Lip Whip from Beauty Bakery. So I'm gonna go ahead and just speed through that for you guys to finish up this look.
All right, guys, so that is it for this video. So a quick little review. This Huda Beauty Mauve's Obsessions palette is amazing, but honestly, um, it's really good. It's just a, I mean, it's just a really good palette. The shadows are really good. They're very pigmented. They're really easy to use. That being said, I do have the Huda Beauty new nudes palette and this is very very similar to that one if you are eyeballing the new nudes palette honestly i would just get this one because it's a lot cheaper and the colors are very very similar i could probably do this exact same look with the new nudes palette so if you're in the market for like this kind of color scheme I would actually recommend this one over that one just because it is cheaper and I love my new nudes palette. My new nudes palette is my favorite palette but like save yourself a little bit of money and just get this one if you're looking for like this kind of color story. Um, and then like I said I love the Huda Beauty matte and metal shadows. These are the only two colors that I have. I do think that they are overpriced though. I like I would they are comparable the glitter anyways is comparable to the Stila it's not as good as the Stila the formula is not as good as the Stila um and I also think the Stila ones are overpriced I say this a lot with the Stila ones but I recommend getting the Stila ones in the um like little like sets of three because they're a lot cheaper these ones don't come as sets you can only buy them as individuals they're $25 each so I would really like wait till um, there's a sale or you have a coupon or something to purchase these. I just really don't think that they're worth $25. They are really, really good. Like I said, I use mine a lot, but at full price, like that's expensive. So there's my quick little review of these things. I love Huda Beauty's eye products. I think that they have some really great eyeshadows. I do think they're a little, you know, they're pretty pricey. Um, like I said, this one's $27. Um, these are $25 each. If you could only pick one thing, I would say go with this. Like if you could only get one Huda Beauty eye product, go with this one. But that is it for today's Face Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.